This husband and wife were living in fear during the four weeks accused killer granny Lois Reese was on the run. Tess Coster thinks she could have been another Reese victim. It might have been me. The Costers were good friends with Lois Reese and her husband Dave in Minnesota. Never seen them argue ever that they were just a perfect look couple. They were happy all the time, joking. We would have seen her around town, always chatted with her at the post office or the grocery store. The Costers were vacationing in Florida where they owned several rental homes when they heard that Lois Reese was suspected of shooting her husband to death and taking off with $11,000 to finance her gambling addiction. We were very shocked. Very. Tess says she was cleaning out her garage in Fort Myers Beach when out of nowhere, Lois Reese appeared. I was just in shock. Our eyes met and I, I thought to myself, Lois Reese is in my driveway. What in the world is she doing here? This is scary. Well, she turned, put her head down, shook her head and said, wrong house, wrong house, and quick got in her car and drove away. Why do you think it is she showed up at your doorstep when she's on the run? Well, that's the scary thought. So did she want to move into one of our many houses? She knew I was there, so maybe she wanted to steal my identity. Just three days later, Reese allegedly murdered a lookalike she met in a restaurant and assumed the dead woman's identity. Where the lady was killed, that was one block from our house. You'll notice how Tess also looks like Reese. She wonders if she was the intended victim all along. I couldn't eat, I was shaken. It, it, it was unbelievable. I was waiting for her to get caught because I was in fear that she would return. After a nationwide hunt, Reese was caught 1,500 miles away in South Padre Island, Texas, near the Mexican border. I myself just hope she never gets out of jail.